lot of emotion, a lot of emotions for the guys going into week one. How do you prepare them on that side of things? Well, I think you make it, don't make it bigger than what it is, right? It's a game. This is something we all love to do. We all love to compete. Uh, and so I think our guys are excited about that. But I think we also have a lot of young players, and they have to understand the moment. You know, we just got to stay in the moment. Don't get outside the moment. Uh, nobody's any different. They put their pants on the same way we do. And so they put their pads on the same way. So we just have to go play. You talked a little bit about Julian earlier. If you can, kind of take us through the rest of that quarterback room, some stuff that you've seen from them that you've liked up to this point. Well, I think they're all different, first of all. You know, but when you think of uh, Julian, which I've spoken about, Quintarius Hawkins, I mean, they're, they're older players than Julian, uh, Chance Amy. You know, those guys are older, Amani Gilmore. So those guys have been in the fire a little bit, different places. But Julian doesn't back down from anything. So that's what makes it fun, you know. And again, recruiting a player and a player coming in as a transfer or a portal guy is a little bit different. So I knew exactly what I was getting in him, and I've been very impressed with him. But like I said, impressed with them all because they've all taken um, the work uh, that myself and Coach Kincaid has put before them, and they've – They've tried to perform, and so I'm happy with the group. Uh, like you said, at some point in time, somebody's going to try it out there first, so they need to know. Uh, but at the same time, I think they feel good about where they all are in our system. Coming from being a coordinator in the NFL, what's been the biggest personal adjustment for you to being a head coach? Well, obviously, there's a lot of things you deal with. There's this thing called school <laughs> that you have to make sure you're on top of. And I, and I don't say that lightly. I, I really take – to heart, because that's where it all starts, right? For these student athletes, they have to do great in the classroom to even have a chance to be on the field. Um, but that's that's different, I mean, very honest, because in the National Football League, it's football 24-7. So you have to allow for that kind of time to make sure you know where your team is as far as study hall, school work, those things. And I think it's very, very important. And uh, we've done that, but I know my mind constantly goes to that, you know, making sure guys are – eligible on top of the things they need to be doing as far as study hall, their school work, meeting with their academic advisors. You briefly mentioned the portal. How have you navigated the portal? Uh, I think the portal has uh, obviously given us a chance to uh, get some better talent on our team. Uh, we've been happy about that, but at the same time, I believe you build a program through high school kids, and that's what we're going to do, recruiting. Uh, this was our first go at it, but at the same time, I'm excited about where we can go a year from now as far as recruiting is concerned, and we'll make the necessary adjustments. With the whole new coaching staff, how have you guys gelled together as a unit in, as far as the coaching staff is concerned? I am really impressed with my coaching staff. That's, to me, that was the first get for me, is making sure that you have the right men to understand the opportunity that was presented to us. Because uh, it's not easy, let's just be very honest. I mean, there's a lot that come with this. Um, there's a lot of sacrifices that go into coaching, period. So I'm just thankful that the guys here, they've done a great job of gelling together, uh, understanding, you know, what the vision is. And we talk about it a lot and what we're trying to accomplish anytime we go on the football field. And I think we've, we've gotten those things done. Piggybacking off of that, um, Looking at Coach Simon kind of taking over the offense, take me through some things you feel like he's done well so far, kind of owning that position. I think organization. I mean, John is as organized as anybody I've ever been around, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, he's my right hand when it comes to the offense. Obviously, I'm highly involved in that, that area. Um, you know, my fingerprints are all over, but at the same time, I have to step out of that room. I don't worry about it moving forward because John's done a great job that way. For you personally, Excited. I mean, this is the start, you know, and again, uh, what better uh, opportunity to do it than, you know, at Arkansas State against a quality opponent, you know, away from here. Well, wish we were at home, but uh, we're traveling. So uh, we're excited about uh, walking out there. I know I am. Our coaching staff are, is, and so is our players. You know, everybody typically looks at that first game because that's what's, what you got right in front of you, but have you caught yourself kind of looking ahead on the schedule at some of the other opponents, whether it be your SWAC opener or uh, the matchup with Southern or just any of the, anybody else that's on the schedule? Yeah, we, we try to take it one week at a time. You know, we want to be the best we can be this week um, and do everything we can to win this football game. And so my mind hadn't 
ventured out any place else other than this training camp, making sure our players are ready to go, understanding what we need to do, uh, how we travel, how we go about doing those things and doing everything we can to win this game. Well, I think that's what it's all about. You know, as a football team, you want to get better every day. You want to get better every week, get better every month. You know, you want to keep growing and progressing. And I think that's really important. So we do. We asked our guys, are you better today? Did you do something? Did you improve at something today? Because if we do that, you know, those little improvements, it ultimately is going to make our whole football team better. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.